Welcome, my name is Neil Frufer. I'm an ear, nose, and throat specialist at ENT and Allergy Associates here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about what happens when the vocal cords start aging. So when we're younger, vocal cords should be straight lines like this. And when they come together, they vibrate and they make a strong, loud noise that's easily heard by others. As we get older, we start losing a little bit of muscle tone, we start losing a little bit of our normal collagen in our body, and what happens is that the vocal cords can get a little bit saggy and there's an opening that starts to open up and the voice can get a bit quieter. So there's a number of things that can be done for this. The easiest thing to do is vocal hygiene, making sure that you're well hydrated and projecting your voice as effectively as possible. Uh, for some people, this involves voice therapy, but there are other options for treating this. Uh, one of the main options, uh, besides the more conservative management, is an injection into the vocal cords, where if you have this sort of opening between the vocal cords, that they can be pushed closer together by an injection, getting you a stronger voice than before. The other option is a medialization thyroplasty, which is appropriate for some people and that involves putting an implant on one or both sides to push them closer together. That tends to be more permanent with the same effect. Once again, my name is Neil Prefer. I'm an ear, nose, and throat specialist out of Williamsburg, Brooklyn for ENT and Allergy Associates. You can book online anytime, and if you call us today, you can see us today.